So, Zed and Poppy finally betrayed me um, by not giving me 17 wins in a row. So, I thought it was time to change up the decks while I was playing ranked, streaming ranked actually. Um, if you want to see that atrocity, by the way, that happened with Zed, Poppy in that last stream, definitely head over to twitch.tv slash thelovegiant, also link is in the description. Um, ever since that happened, or in that particular stream, I was actually deck hopping to another deck, uh, to another S tier deck, and this is today's video. We are playing Ping City. I already played that one month ago, uh, to be precise, but the deck has changed a little bit, because uh, we don't run, um, we don't run, um, uh, Miss Fortune, Mr. Fate. I wanted to say Mr. Fate, actually. I'm not right in the head anymore. Miss Fortune isn't in the deck anymore. Uh, this is actually the same list that Swim has on his uh, page. So I updated that. And I played the updated version. If it went well, you're going to have to wait and see for the game. But we're going to go into, into the deck tech first. Um, Miss Fortune got swapped out uh, successfully now completely by Twisted Fate, just to let you know. So Pink City. What is Pink City all about? Pink City is there to... Um, Basically flood the board with um, not the best kind of cards, but just to ping the Nexus and then get a win with, um, if all else fails, all else fails, uh, we get a win with Gangplank. If not, we get a win earlier by just pinging down the enemy Nexus. We have for that, to in order to accomplish that, we have a one-off of a warning shot for, you know, burst speed, one damage, self-explanatory, pings the Nexus. Um, Crackshot Corsair, one of the best one drops you can have in your starting hand never mulligan this beautiful guy away when allies attack he doesn't even even have to attack himself deal one to the enemy nexus so a free ping kind of a free ping to the enemy nexus right there we have inventive chemist when i'm summoned summon a scrappy bomb which is this thing um has a cooldown of three and uh, or when he's destroyed it's obviously all, always when the countdown re timer reaches zero deal one to the enemy nexus always play this on your turn I'm always saying this because it is likely that you get a ping on your turn. Either you get an attack off, you have Crackshot Corsair, you have Warning Shot, whatever the case may be. But it's never a given that you actually get a ping off when it's the enemy's turn. Yeah, sure, you might have Pokey Stick, you might have also like Warning Shot Parlay or whatever. But it's never a given. So it's always safer to play Inventive Chemist on your turn. Not only because you can also attack or just block in next turn into anything that the enemy might drop. But also because the Scrappy Bonk... Scrappy Gonk, yeah. The Scrappy Bomb is a safe proc damage to the enemy Nexus. Um, then we have a good old Jack Butcher, Plunder, which means damage to Nexus. If that happened, you grant him plus one, plus one, so he comes down as a 3-3 three, three for a one drop. Effectively, we have a one-off of Power Lay. Deal one to anything. If this kills it, deal one to the enemy Nexus. I think we can also just ping the Nexus right away, which is definitely pretty good. Um, or just like, you know, kill something and then also deal damage to the Nexus. We have the Dreadway Deckhand. When he's summoned, you summon a Powder Keg, which is this thing, which all of your spells and skills deal one extra damage. Destroy me when you when your spell or skill damages enemies or the enemy Nexus. And also, if you play multiple Deckhands, obviously these don't clog up board space. They just stack. So it's, if, you have, if you have two Powder Kegs, it just goes onto the first one and says times two. This one um, obviously doubles also the warning shot, so if we have one keg out, this deals two to the enemy nexus right away. And yeah, also procs for croc shot. Cro what the hell? It's late. Uh, crack shot Corsair, he deals two to the enemy nexus then. Obviously it doesn't grant it him, it's just, you know, when, when the keg is out, obviously. We have a three off of Make It Rain, which is back into the meta. Two mana, deal one to three different randomly targeted enemies or the enemy nexus. Just means that the enemy nexus is also taken into the equation, so it's never safe what you actually hit. Even if the enemy has three enemies or three allies on the board, it can target two of them and the enemy nexus. So, you know, if you want to ping, for sure, play it when there's one creature or two out. We have... Um, I Isla, Mariah Warden, if you didn't know her name is Isla. When she's summoned, you also summon a random one-cost follower. This is always uh, obviously there also to give you that extra unit to actually get to damage the Nexus in your turn. Or um, since it summons also a random one-cost follower, it's two mana for two creatures right off the bat basically. So this one you can also use it for jump blocker. Pokey Stick, deal one to anything and draw one. Self-explanatory, one of the best cards in the game along with uh, Mystic Shot. Uh, stone stackers 
up up. 2-3, two, 2 mana, impact, basically just means uh, when it strikes while attacking, it deals 1 to the enemy nexus, this keyword can stack. So uh, again, if you attack another free, um, free damage to the nexus, we have Lecturing Yordle, who's definitely gonna get nerfed. When I'm summoned or attacked, create a fleeting poison dart in hand, which is this thing, which is every time he attacks, and also when he's summoned right away. Deal one to anything, also the Nexus, and plant three Poison Puff Caps on random cards in the enemy deck. So again, uh, Poison Puff Caps obviously pretty good also for Gangplank and also for damage to the Nexus. Twisted Fate, which I, I'm not sure if you actually are supposed to do this this way, but I'm doing it this way and it kind of worked. Um, you level them up when you've played, uh, when you've drawn nine plus cards, which is never gonna happen. But you can play them for either blue card, which refills one spell mana and you also draw one. Uh, red card, which deals one to all enemies and the enemy nexus. This is what I'm using it for, mostly. Or gold card, deal two and stun the strongest enemy. Uh, gold card and uh, red card is usually the one that we go for. Back in the day, it was obviously blue card because, you know, you just wanted to level him. But this isn't the case in this deck. We have double up for five mana. Deal two to an enemy. If this kills it, deal four to the enemy nexus, which is amazingly huge. Um, and great removal as well. Then, then we have we're gonna go to gangplank in, in as, as the last, the last one. We have hidden pathways. A two copy of this costs t two less, which is always the case, kinda. If you've created uh, two plus cards this game, and then you also obviously draw two. And then we have good old gangplank. This is basically what this whole deck is about. If we don't, ma if you, if we can't manage to burn the enemy down, burn the en enemy, ne enemy, enemy nexus down to be precise, then. It is time for Gangplank. Gangplank is Overwhelm. And when you, uh, when he's summoned, you summon a Powder Keg. And we he levels up when you have damaged the enemy Nexus in five different rounds. Including, obviously, also the, uh, the enemy turn. When he's leveled, 6-6. Six, six, summon a Powder Keg every round. And attack. Deal one to all enemies and the enemy Nexus. Given that we have a Powder Keg out, this one usually always deals two to all enemies... And the enemy nexus. This I, I've seen this thing so rarely because people always remove gangplank. But if he comes down in Pink City, he is there to stay because usually when you play him on uh, turn five, he's usually leveled, or he's just one ping away from being leveled. And if he's leveled, obviously, this thing right here, powerful explosion, basically deal two to all enemies and the enemy nexus is goddamn huge, as well as him being a six-six overwhelm at five mana. Is really goddamn good. Even the basic set of five five as a uh, as a five drop as an overwhelm is definitely pretty good. Always and and he, and he always summons a powder keg. And if we somehow struggle to just you know kill the enemy, still we have a one copy of Dreadway, which is when it's summoned, you also draw a gangplank, so gangplank ship basically, and you double all damage dealt by skills, spells, and allies, meaning. If he's leveled, he's a 6-6. Six, six. If the Dreadway is out, he deals 12 to a... Uh, he, he's still a 6-6. Six, six. His stats doesn't change. But he's he's dealing 12 damage instead. So he's a 12-5 effectively. Uh, if we have a Twisted Fate and he's leveled, which is... Nah, now he's, he's never leveled, never mind. But he's a 4-2 four, four, with quick attack. Um, I think Stone Stacker's impact also counts as double... I'm not entirely sure about that since it's... Nah, I don't think it is because it's not a skill. But Stone Stackers is basically 4 damage. Like, everything gets doubled, which is a, which is pretty good. Uh, including Dreadway itself. This thing deals 8 damage. Um, this one deals 2 damage to everything. And, of course, if we have a... Let's say we have a Powder Keg out. Um, this one would deal 2 damage then. If we have a Dreadway out, 4 damage. You get, you get, the, you get the idea. It's getting extremely... Extremely disgusting when Dreadway hits the board. Um, but usually that's never the case. Usually you end the game or close out the game when... Or try to close out the game at least when uh, Gangplank hits the board. If we manage to do this this time, we're gonna see. Um, four games or five games, I think. I have... Um, I've played four or five games with this one. Uh, just to get the general feeling of it. And um, we played against some uh, meta decks and against some... Little bit something that is a little bit out there but you know could still be viable we're gonna see how it works um but yeah that was the deck tech pretty much kind of the same uh concept as it was before with the misfortune tech i think we also had two, two copies of twisted fate and then obviously like three offs of gang gangplank that hasn't changed but um yeah some minor adjustments but the general gameplay is uh, gameplay or game plan is still the same 
just try to burn down the enemy nexus, basically. Um, but yeah, hope you're gonna enjoy the games. Um, definitely make sure also to check out my stream because I plan to stream a little bit more frequent and I've definitely accomplished that so far. So definitely head over to twitch.tv slash the love giant just uh, as a short notice. So uh, yeah, hope you're gonna enjoy the games and uh, yeah, enjoy the games. <laughs> All right, trap deck. Gotcha. The burn down. The burn down ensues. That's actually a pretty good hand. Just gonna, I'm only gonna wait a gangplank, and I'm gonna keep everything else. We're gonna play inventive chemist on the on our turn. I'm gonna block here. How did I know? Right into the dreadway. <laughs> Drawing right into the dreadway. Set that go through. We're not gonna block here. I'm Isla. <laughs> uh, thanks for the flower. Goddamn child. <laughs> Wait, we're at eight. Um, because I can't just shoot this Teemo down. One mana. Poke City P and Z. Stress defense, no. Yeah, this should be safe. Right? Absolutely. Get the fuck out of here, Timo. There sure is. There sure is, my friend. So then we play Poke City. Obviously, Twisted Fate is there for the red card. For the removal. Actually, how much does gold card do? Two. Yeah, because I kind of was thinking about that. Um. Yeah, let's just stun her. Let's just make sure that she doesn't do anything that she might regret later on. I'm gonna block both. Yeah, I don't need Isla. <laughs> it was nice to meet her, though. Ooh, lecture lecturing Yordle. One of my friends. Nice. Probably Mystic Shot. Or maybe a her thing? Yeah. Peacemaker. <clears throat> mm. Oh yeah, trying to get rid of Twisted Fate. Yeah, sure. I will allow it because you actually die now. Uh, usually I, I would say like in... Actually... What's better here? For the long run, I guess I'm gonna go with Twisted Fate. Have a red card. Or played one. There you go. Because at least this guy's still open. And I actually want to use him. Actually, how much are we? Four out of five for Gangplank. Um, yeah, because I want to keep... Usually I want to aim with him. I want to aim... Um, at the Nexus. Let's just use this now. We might go for a Twisted Fate level up, you never know. This guy's 100% getting nerfed. <laughs> There's no way this card stays that way. Oh, thank you. Surrender! It sure was. It's a card game after all. <laughs> I 
And we got... <laughs> we got the Mura. <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah, I guess I'm gonna mulligan everything away. And it actually paid off. Nice. Crack shot, obviously first drop. Um, we're going first as well. Oh yeah, I mean that's an that's an easy that's, that's an easy one. And vent of chemist, because he might dro drop another a crack shot cursor of his own. If he doesn't, it's a little bit sad. But it's the same amount of damage, nonetheless. And we also set up uh, the scrappy bomb. Always play it on your turn because it goes off when it's not your turn, and it's not always guaranteed that you get actually get a hit in when it's not your turn. Yeah, calm down there. Um, I could just set up for next turn, which I think I will. Aggro deck, don't block. Easiest block of his life. Yep. Hmm. Sure. Got the butcher. Got Isla. Thought you're gonna announce yourself again. <laughs> We are all aware of your name. Don't worry about that. Ooh. Twisted Fate, though. Okay, we have got three out of five. His, his, um... GPS two out of five. Uh, we already got the plunder this turn, so we just... He's gonna probably go poison on the crack shot. Yep. I knew it. Let him attack, and then we... Uh, I guess I'm actually gonna double... Blur. Maybe not. Maybe I will. Actually, I don't need this. No Messi. Mm. Actually, I wanted to play Dreadway into Twisted, but that was before I actually realized that he has another... Then he gets another poison dart, so I'm just gonna pass, let him play the dart, and then play deckhand. So we have a nice, juicy Twisted Fate for the next turn. Juicy. If he tries to kill off the keg for some reason, warning shot. Which he absolutely could with make it rain. Or a pokey stick. No issue. Sure is. He sure is. Like ah, man. <laughs> Still three out of five. Okay. Keep a bit of mana open. <clears throat> I'm kind of seeing a gangplank coming. Not sure if I like that. Not really.
Burn down has begun. Or at least the attempt. Harpoon? That's barbaric. Oh! The sweet smell of science! Yeah, dude, that's not gonna happen, though. And no. I disagree. <clears throat> I disagree with your entire gangplank plan right there. Is he on a level? No. He's not gonna level, but my gangplank is gonna level, and his is probably also gonna level now. Not yet. Gangplank. Three cars left. We haven't seen too much removal now off of him. We, I think, I think we've only seen like one make it rain. I think that's about it. So we can still have a lot. Nice. Nice! The surrender! Not sure if that was actually Mando, but I'll definitely be taking that. Yes, we have established that. But thanks for the heads up. And we are up! I get- oh! King Custards! Let me get, um... Because I think that's Feel the Rush. Let me get Majin Base video up real quick. Uh, Feel the Rush, there it is. Deck Link. We're gonna mulligan everything, because that is kind of a late curve. Okay, and that's gonna be scary. That's gonna be hella scary. They don't have a one drop, however. So we are free to swing in. Uh, they have Everosen Sentry, Icevale Archer for second drop. As well as Wild Feast, obviously, for spells. Let's go right for the burn. So we're going right in because he could have um, Avalanche. Probably has it at this point. Wording Stone Aim. Let's go Isla. Calm down. Calm down, girl. Trundle? Three out of five. <clears throat> Voices of the old ones. Okay. I can level Gangplank next turn. Uh, with the Pearl Aim. Let's just play him. Let's go for it. Because 8 mana is getting kind of hot in here. Yeah, there it is. That it is, my friends, but no problem because I still have the gangplank. The leveled gangplank. I was about to say, if you have the box, you're cheating. Level Gangplank is a good Gangplank, I've heard. 
getting kind of scary now at that point, though. Because we're getting closer to feel the rush. And he's starting to feel the rush, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> Not lacking it. Not really. I got a lot of answers here. A lot of stuff for us to do. And at 4 mana, we're sitting a kinda comfortable. Kinda. Now it's getting a little bit ridiculous, though, with this guy. But he doesn't rally. So that's a good thing. Let's go ahead and pathways. See if we can get some more burn in. And we kind of do. Yeah, let's go for it. Again, usually you don't want to play that on your, when it's on, on the enemy's turn because you know it procs when it's your turn, so you get damage in anyways. But we're not even sure if we actually get damage in the first place. Um, yeah, because it's guaranteed to hit the nexus. Same for this. <clears throat> I, got it. I got it! Now just kill everything, Gangplank. Kill everything. Kill everything. Kill everything. Do it for Narnia. Four. Still lethal. Good. <laughs> ah, I never see the spell go off though. That's kind of cool. I get an Altoid. <laughs> you seem to need it. Good old Tarendamir. TF Caitlyn. Hmm. TF Caitlyn. TF Caitlyn. The the more often I try to say it in a more different way, it sounds still sounds weird. Never play Inventive Chemist on the enemy's attack turn. Three damage inbound. Chemist. That sucks. We kind of missed out on a little bit of damage here, but two mana or three mana uh, overall for them. It usually means that they have something. There is the Caitlyn. Exactly what I was trying to get into. But now she is reachable for pretty much every kind of removal. Or not removal, but she has to pretty much everyone, except crack shot. So yeah. That's a that's fucking sick. That's a really good draw. Nice. Ah, Isla. Is it your name by any chance? Let's ping her down a bit. Yes. 
Let's see what we hit. Perfect. Perfect. Sting Officer was de definitely needed to hit that. Definitely needed to hit Caitlyn as well. Nice. Oh, we at four. Uh, that's a gangplank level. Did they now? I mean, that would discard uh, crack shot. And we draw a three. Uh, if I play Twisted Fate here, though, he's probably not gonna play that for me. That would kind of help me, even though he, he can't even play that. Never mind. And he is a people person after all. Block with Isla. That is a name. So he dies to everything again. Dreadway. Hits my twisted fate. Kind of rude, but uh, you know, no problem. No hard feelings there. Flash of brilliance. Let that attack go through first. Because he might kill something uh, from from on our side, and that would obviously be bad. And that way we got the win. Thank you. Same line from Twisted Fate the entire time. Ping City! Thanks for bringing me up to silver. Goddamn. Now we're actually a little bit more... safe and sound. 